Aristotle is great founding West, a figure of Western philosophy and literary theory. Aristotle invented the scientific method of analysis and in a wide, wide ranging, ranging series of treatises codified the division of knowledge. Yani, uske different branches of knowledge may categorize kiya, uh, Aristotle. Aristotle inaugurated the systematic and distinctive discipline of literary criticism and theory with the poetics. Poetics is his great work that is about nature of poetry. Types of uh, literature are poetry. These are epic and tragedy. Poetics is the most influential work in the history of criticism and theory. Poetics shapes future considerations of genre. Prosody. Prosody means uh, rules of poetry, style, structure, and form. In modern, impact began in the Renaissance when it was rediscovered from fragmentary manuscript sources and taken as a rule book for literary composition. So we can say uh, poetics is a book that uh, you can say led or served as a guiding star in Renaissance age. Aristotle's another work is called Rhetoric that suggests a different avenue for study of literature. Uh, rhetoric open for consideration their effective and political consideration uh, dimensions as forms of uh, public speech. The poetics demonstrates Aristotle's analytical method. As mentioned earlier, he is thought the pioneer of this method, analytical method, which here parallels that of his examination of biology or zoology. Aristotle turns to the various categories of human artifacts, differentiating those made in language and eventually focusing on poetry and on the species specific traits of epic and tragic. Aristotle assumes a distinction between the wide class of objects that are humanly made and those that are naturally produced. Naturally produced uh, are see a chair and a tree. The Greek word for poetry is poesy, which means uh, making or its verb is to make. In treating poetry as a craft, Aristotle differs from Plato. Uh, Plato discusses poetry in terms of inspiration and the emotive transport of the poet. A certain that continues in 19th century romanticism, uh, we can say the Wordsworthian idea of poetry is influenced by Plato instead of Aristotle. But Aristotle believes that poetry is a craft. According to him, poetry is creative work of the poet. He limits poetry to observable kinds and its formal construction more or less ignoring questions about its effective origins, which he regards as a falling under the auspices of other pursuits such as psychology or rhetoric. Drawing on a wide range of literary examples, especially Sophocles, uh, Oedipus Rex, Aristotle adduces six features of uh, tragedy or six parts of uh, uh, tragedy. These elements of tragedy are plot, which he thinks that is superior to character. Character, thought, dic diction, music, and spectacle. It is also called 
same. He spends the most time on the first, specifying the key features of good plots. I mean, uh, uh, how plots uh, should be, uh, how plot should be entangled and how it should be resolved. Central to Aristotle is imitation, uh, which is an English word, but it's the Greek equivalent is mimesis. And he judges the best plots to have very similitude, mean they must be plausible. Mean they are not illogical. He also stresses the logically connected order an appropriate starting point, elaboration, and dramatic end. We can say beginning, middle, and end. Centered on one unified action rather than depicting multiple divergent unnecessary actions. It is often believed that Aristotle has the idea of three unities, though it's not true. In fact, he has more emphasis on unity of action. The best kind of resolution is on that shows a reversal. In for reversal, there is a Greek word peripetia of position for the mean. Uh, that's a, a reversal of uh, position for the main character as well as practice recognition that is called a neg nagnorisis. Aristotle reasons that the characters in tragedy should come from high position, otherwise their tragic circumstances would not be remarkable. He also prescribes that their fate be linked to their own error, which he calls hamartia, which, which was later on translated as a tragic flaw in English, and but its literal meaning is missing the mark. Rather than from some accident or wickedness, I mean, uh, flaw should not be because of any accident, flaw should not be because of evil of the characters, it should uh, be aroused through hamartia. Aristotle concludes somewhat technically by classifying parts of speech. Uh, that's a, his discussion of uh, discussion, sketching solutions to problems of interpretation and comparing the genres of uh, tragedy and epic. Epic is in narrative form, tragedy is in dramatic form. The rooted in literature of its time, the extent poetic has continued to powerfully influence criticism. Aristotle's systematic categorization of genus and species, and his uh, comparison of tragedy and epic underlie all genre theories. I mean how one genre should be uh, distinguished from others. There are references to uh, what is their contemporary relevance. I skip them and There is uh, that dithyrambic poems, dithyrambic are were the nationalist literature. In a uh, poetics, he points out that Aeschylus was first to increase the number of its extra from one to two. Aeschylus reduced the 
songs of the chorus and made speech play the main role sophocles brought in three actors and scene about uh, comedy aristotle says the comedy is a representation of people who are rather inferior not with respect to every kind of vice but the laughable is a part of what is ugly epic poetry follows tragedy as it is a representation of serious people I mean both epic and tragedy are serious but epic uses speech in verse they differ in that epic has a single verse form that is a narrative form and tragedy attempts to keep within one revolution of the sun to exceed this a little but epic is unbounded in time uh main aristotle idea is that a tragedy as far as possible to keep within one revolution of sun mean within one day that is the unity of time uh epic is unbounded in time mean uh, it can covers years for example odyssey covers 18 years that is the definition of tragedy tragedy is a representation of a serious complete action which has magnitude in embellished speech with each of its elements and we have to mention six elements of a tragedy plot character thought diction music and spectacle separately in the parts of the play by people acting and not by narration accomplishing by means of pity and fear the catharsis of such emotion that is the actual definition of tragedy which is often used in uh, whenever genre of tragedy is introduced about tragic flaw aristotle idea is that a hero must have uh, belongs to nobility and his fall should be logical hero should neither be angel nor a satan and his fall should arouse emotions of pity and fear that should be a result of hamart 